Oh man, it's Friday. We made it. I was up super, super late last night. I um, I am a product of the seventies and eighties, <laughs> as you can imagine, uh, by all the gray hair in my beard. Um, so the seventies and eighties, I grew up listening to some cool stuff like Thirty Eight Special and Air Supply and REO Speedwagon, and all those bands from the. 70s and 80s. Uh, I had the privilege last night um, to see two of my favorite bands when I was a kid. Uh, and and if you're probably over the age, uh, younger than the age of, of 40, you probably don't even <laughs> know who these people are, but that's okay. Unless your dad was a, a, a 70s and 80s, 90s rocker guy. Like, then you'll know who Toto is, and you're going to know who uh, Journey is. Two of my favorite rock bands from the from the 70s and 80s they are still on tour uh, uh toto opened uh for for journey as you can imagine toto closed out with rosanna and and africa <laughs> if you don't know the song africa you probably think weezer sang it he's not the original singer of of the song it was toto um and then journey lit it up as well it was at the spectrum center here in charlotte north carolina and uh, fantastic time. So uh, went with some, my, my wife and, and a few friends, had dinner beforehand and had some drinks afterwards. And needless to say, it was a it was a long night, uh, and but fun was had by all. You don't care about Journey and Toto. <laughs> you care about what I'm about to talk about with Zoom. Uh, full disclosure, I am a full uh, time employee of Zoom. Uh, and so when I'm, when I talk about zoom, I am not doing so as a spokesman. I'm just doing so because zoom's got cool stuff and I want to show it to you. And, and one of those things that, uh, zoom recently released, uh, I think it was 5.10.3 was, uh, was a cool policy tool that we can now use in chat. You know, chat is my, literally my favorite tool in zoom. The, to, the, the chat etiquette tool gives you the ability to set up policies in your or your Zoom chat organization uh, to maybe like filter words or filter numbers. We talked a little bit about chat, PII information and credit card information when, when it comes to SharePoint integration, right? We I showed you some demos of that last week or actually it was this week uh, for, for eDiscovery, for Power Automate, for uh, DLP, all these things we could use in Zoom chat because we have now can have the ability to put Zoom chat into SharePoint integration. But what about words? What about filtering on just simple words? Like, uh, just like words you don't want to be said in, in a chat organization, right? Some words that you maybe, for as much as we have freedom of speech, that's great. We also want to maybe filter on some words that are maybe uh, in our organization that we don't want to be. I'll give you one example. Like maybe HR wants to filter on resume just to <laughs> see if you're sending out resumes. I don't know. This is an example, right? So whatever it is, we can do it now in the chat etiquette tool. And if you don't know where the chat etiquette tool is, if you're an admin, right, you're going to have the ability to do the chat etiquette tool. It's right here. It's under account settings. Go to account settings. I'm going to move myself a little bit. And you're going to go up to up to the chat, uh, the Zoom chat tool right here. And then you're going to see a tab called Zoom chat security. We can click on security. It will jump us to that location. And Zoom chat etiquette tool is the very, very last one here. It's the very last one. And what that allows you to do is obviously set up etiquette policies. You can set up to 50 etiquette policies currently. And I set up an etiquette policy called uh, no, no words. <laughs> right. So I'm not going to allow anybody to say these words uh, in my organization. And you can set this up to anything, right? You have keywords for something. Maybe you're doing some sort of acquisition or trans or, uh, or migration to another company and you don't want those words to get out. Like there's a super secret organization, buy over, I don't know, whatever, pick something, right? Pick something. You can now go in here and change the no-no words. So now if I go to chat, let's see, uh, that's the wrong client. <laughs> if I go to chat, I actually have the ability to pull that out. Let's pull up my, uh, my Zoom chat. Uh, client here and now let's go to chat and now i'm part of obviously this is my one of my test users uh uh irvin sayers and sayers remember what remember one of the chat words the no no words was heck heck we can't say heck oh boom 
Chat etiquette tool now has just informed me your message contains some words or phrases that are prohibited by a chat policy and cannot be sent. Contact your admin for, for more information. So all those things, that just a real quick ability to make simple uh, chat etiquette rules inside a Zoom chat. Again, my favorite, my favorite function here at Zoom. All right, enjoy your Friday, everybody.